Welcome to the Armani Talks YouTube channel. I'm your host, Armani Talks. In this channel, I'm covering communication skills in order to help you level up your way with words and become much more articulate. In today's episode, I'm going to be giving you a very simple speaking game that you could play and use in order to understand the world much better. And this is known as a scientific method. You may be thinking, wait a minute, I thought the scientific method was for smart people. I thought it was for scientists. How am I going to use this in order to communicate my ideas in a more clarified way? See, here's the thing with the scientific method that people often forget. Look at the last step. What's the last step? It's to communicate the results. You don't just observe the world around you. You don't just create a hypothesis, run experiments, evaluate the results. At the end of it all, you got to communicate the results. Until you do that, you have not fully finished the scientific method. And since this channel covers how to become a better communicator, we're going to use the scientific method in a way of a game. I want to give you a real world example of when I use the scientific method in order to reach a very profound insight. Roughly around 15 years old, I wasn't a big fan of eye contact. Whenever someone I just met would look at me in the eyes, it made me feel uncomfortable. But if I knew this person for some time, once rapport had been built, that's when I didn't mind the eye contact too much. This was a piece of data from my 15 year old self that I still remember to this day. Nowadays, as an adult, I don't really mind eye contact. I can look different people in the eyes for a long period of time. However, I noticed something. I noticed that as I look different people in the eyes, they look back at me in different ways. Some people are able to maintain the contact pretty well, while other people, their body language is off. They're looking to the side more. They're touching their necks more. They're making their bodies small more. And this behavior is something that reminded me just of my 15 year old self. So at this stage, what I'm doing is I'm observing the world around me. And then I create a hypothesis. My hypothesis is that eye contact is not supposed to be static. I'm not supposed to have the same eye contact with everyone. Instead, it's supposed to be dynamic. How can I prove this? Through experimentation. For the next couple of years, I ended up getting a whole bunch of data. I started to talk to a variety of different people so the data could be more meaningful. And I started to put my hypothesis in action. Rather than looking at everyone the same way, I would adjust my eye contact based off of their personality. If they were confident, I would look at them more. If they were not confident, I would look away more. At the end of the couple of years, I ended up gathering the results. Was my hypothesis true, false, or did I need more data? Based off of looking at all the data that I had, I mean, it was pretty obvious. Eye contact is meant to be dynamic. The more that I looked away, whenever I was dealing with someone that wasn't too confident, and then I spoke, I noticed that the rapport would build quicker. Therefore, my results was that eye contact needs to change depending on the personality that you're speaking with. And notice what I'm doing right now. I'm communicating my results. Therefore, I finished the scientific method. So the game is only going to be fun when you, after done watching this video, you observe the world around you. And if you're advanced and you can control your awareness, you observe the world within you, your thoughts, feelings, and desires. But that's more advanced. So let's stick with the external world if you can't control your awareness too much. And then you create a hypothesis. And here's the thing, as you're getting warmed up, your hypothesis can be pretty silly as well. Let's say your hypothesis is to prove that your little brother Jonathan is not an elephant. Play around with it. 
even if it's a silly hypothesis, it's the game all about going to the end. At the end, once you've created the hypothesis, once you ran the experiments, and once you gathered the results that your little brother is not an elephant, or maybe he is, once you communicate the results, that's when you'll start to see what it's like to see the scientific method in connection with communication skills. That's how you get real knowledge that is applicable to you, and that's how you eventually learn to speak easy. You want more practical insights like this into speaking skills? Then be sure to check out my book, Speak Easy, How to Be Articulate, Assertive, and Audacious Around People, currently available on Amazon, Gumroad, and Audible. I'll drop the links in the description box and the pinned comment, or you can go on ArmaniTalks.com and grab your copy today. Thank you very much for joining the Armani Talks YouTube channel, and I'll catch you on the next episode.